<clears throat> okay, hello there. Um, in this video, we're going to make a skybox really quick. Now, if you go into Unity's manual, you have this six-sided cube, and they've got the steps on how to do that. But what they don't tell you is how to create the uh, individual images that you need, the, the six images on the cube. Now, there's things you can use like cubing the sphere, which is a really cool app for doing some stuff. And um, you know, there's some other ways that you can get those cubes, but I'm going to show you a way to create a skybox without having to worry about this six-sided cube stuff. So we'll start off by going. I'm, I've gone to CG Skies. Now you can get your skies wherever you want. You can custom make make them or whatever. But CG Skies just has these great, wonderful, uh, seamless skies. So I figured I'd take a look at there. And. I've got this uh, desert scene kind of place that I want to change my sky map. So I'm thinking maybe like a dusk sky map or something like that. And you know, there's this kind of cool looking orange, orangish red one right there. So I'm going to take a look at this one. Just click on that. Now CG skies for for commercial uses, you do have to buy them. Um, I'm just this is just a quick demo here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this free one right here. But I can't use this free one in a commercial product, so you do have to be aware that if if you're planning on selling what you're working on, you're going to need your um you're going to need to purchase it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this file and get into Unity here. And inside Unity, I'm going to create a folder real quick, a uh, folder, and I'm going to call this um, Sky. And I'm just going to put all my Sky stuff in here for now. So my first step is actually going to be to import that, that texture that I just downloaded. So I'll go into my downloads and I will grab sky and just kind of drag it over here and drop it into this folder right here. And it'll take it just a moment. And then I have that texture that I just got off of CG skies. Okay, so let's currently it's set to a texture type of, of uh, texture. Let's change that to a cube map. And in the cube map for its mapping, let's change that from auto to this cylindrical approach right there. And I can go ahead and drop my max size. Well, my max size is good, 2048, 2048, yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit apply on that and let that get all set up. And once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and start creating our material that we will use. And for my sky map material, or my, my yeah, my sky map material, I'm just, not going to use the six cube. I'm just going to use the cylindrical cube map, which is one of the options I have to choose from. Uh, let's see. So this is just about done. There we go. So I select this folder. Go ahead, create and create a new material. Right there it is. And I'm going to call this. Um, I'm going to call it Mars Sky because it kind of makes me think of Mars. It's so reddish and whatnot. Uh, so, okay, so Mars Sky. So up here under my and my uh, shader type, it's currently standard. I'm going to change that to skybox and go to cube map. And now I need to give it a cube map. Well, I just created one, this CG skies right here. So I will, oops, so I'll go ahead and drag that up onto there. So it is now applied. Here you can see my sky map down there. Now I just need to get it out into my game world. So go to window and go to lighting. And then in lighting, I get this option right here, which includes my skybox. So let's go ahead and change our skybox to my Mars sky. Close that, close that. And there we have our new Mars or new sky map, whatever. So I can go ahead and play this and take a look at what this looks like in here. And there you can see we've got our new sky in there, just like so. So, you know, three, four minute process and we've got a decent little sky okay so hopefully that will answer the the questions that have come up on that and any other questions just let me know